Here at Wonderstrike, as part of our ongoing contribution to modern science, we've been wondering what happens when you pass an electric current through a pickled vegetable. Now our first vegetable is the humble pickled gherkin, a small cucumber soaked in vinegar and quite a high concentration of salt. So that means there should be quite a lot of ions, charged particles such as sodium, um, to actually pass the current. So we're anticipating that a current will flow through the gherkin, uh, but let's see what happens. Okay, so everything's set, let's plug in. Excellent. Now you can see our gherkin gave out quite a lot of light and it was a particular colour. It's an orange and that's a characteristic colour uh, that's emitted from sodium ions when they're excited, uh, in this case by the electricity passing through the gherkin. So we've got that lovely orange colour that you get from sodium street lamps. Mmm, our next vegetable is the pickled onion prints among pickled vegetables. Ooh. Right, okay, so so far we've done gherkin, and we've done onion and both of them give us that characteristic orange colour but orange is so last year so let's try and make a different colour with a beetroot now we're not sure how successful this will be because obviously the beetroot is still pickled with salt and vinegar so we can still have those sodium ions but the very deep colour of the beetroot will hopefully give us something slightly different Well, pickled beetroot was a bit of a letdown, so now let's try some pickled cauliflower. Mm, it's quite nice. After our experiments with pickled vegetables, to be honest, we now find conventional means of producing light really quite boring. I mean, for goodness sake, light bulbs on, off the other way around, on, off, on, off, really boring. So we thought, how much more exciting would the world be if we produced light bulbs using pickled vegetables? The delicious smell, the fact they only last for 30 seconds, and the risk of electrocution every time you try and change one will just make our lives so much more richer. So anyway, at Wonderstruck, we thought we'd give it a go. And here it is. We have produced the world's first gherkin light bulb lamp. And we'd just like to demonstrate that for you here today. But look at this, fantastic. Everyone is going to want one of these. Switch on. Amazing. There is, of course, the noise as well and the smoke. And it does stink. But I think you'd all agree you'll want one of those on your desk. Ugh, I absolutely reek of pickles.